Hi everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and here we are in Norway in quarantine under these very very difficult times. Not going to be easy but we're going to try to make time pass and we're going to do it our way. And it's really hard. This, this oh yeah yeah computer. yeah. I try to look at the camera like. I know I know and if I look at. Uh, you see you can't point even I know. up there. So as as it's people so, strange, yeah. so as people understand, we're under quarantine. <laughs> Eric is not here, so we're trying to do all this on our own. Yeah, it's like a dogma film. Yeah, like a dogma movie. <laughs> right now we have a computer, and the computer has a camera, and that's pretty much it. And we're sitting here. Uh, we are hosting a daily podcast while we are in quarantine. I think that this is the only way that we will be able to keep our sanity. We'll tell you a little bit more about uh, what's going to be happening here uh, on a daily basis and uh, we hope uh, you continue to join us uh, every day. It's going to be Arne and Carlos weeks now for a couple of weeks and yeah. we hope you enjoy that. Uh, uh, we're not sick as far as we know. Oh yeah, no, no, no. No, because but we've been traveling and then they say, the government say you should stay at home for 14 days at well, least. Well, the government in Norway, I mean as you all understand, uh, Europe right now is like a it's like a war zone. Uh, it's pretty intense what's going on. Uh, while we were on the boat, uh, things just get getting worse and worse. Every, every 10 minutes there was something new happening. It was insane. And on Thursday, the Prime Minister of Norway went out and said that everybody that had been traveling abroad outside of the Nordic countries after February 27th had to go into quarantine for 14 days. And that applied to us because we were... Uh, in the UK at the time. We were in UK from February 27 to 29. So there we are on the boat uh, and suddenly we get, you know, we read this on the news and we realize that as the moment we get home, we need to go into, into quarantine. It's been strange because like we felt so safe on the boat. It's like we were in the bubble knitting yeah. with people and then we read about things happening in, in the world and ashore and it was, it was like it didn't affect us at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. and suddenly on the way back home we, we got news that like, everything blew up everything blew up it's like the borders closing and airports closing mm. and we heard we had to be checked before we left the boat yeah, so they took our temperature yeah. and that's kind of you can get really warm just by thinking about yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were leaving the house. Oh my God, do I have a fever? Do I have a fever? <laughs> and uh, and like, then it was what such... happens? Like, what if you end up in the boat or in a room in the yeah. harbor or very strange? Uh, but lo and now, luckily, uh, Gita from the traveling company, she has done a great job. She actually managed to get all the people back home. Yeah, most of the travelers were Americans, mm. and some were not booked with the company, but she managed to get them back home anyway. Yeah, she did a fantastic so, job. I hope everybody is safe. at home, yeah. safe. And here we are. We're in quarantine right now uh, after a very dramatic situation. Now, uh, as Arne was saying, yeah, it was a bubble. We were definitely in a bubble for, uh, for some of those days. But uh, actually, we had one, uh, one of our uh, guests on the knitting uh, trip, Cheryl, Cheryl DeVille, she, uh, took a photo of us. Uh, and I have a feeling that she took the photo the moment uh, we found out uh, about the whole quarantine thing. Uh, so Eric is not here and we don't know how to edit videos but I have an agreement with Eric that we'll be sending this to him and Eric promised that he will put a photograph of Arne and me and we're gonna put it in right now. So now you're supposed to see a photo of me and Arne and not us talking and just take a look at Arne. Take a look at Arne's expression. I think uh, pretty much Cheryl Push the button, the the button to take the photo, exactly at the time we found out uh, that we were going to be quarantined for two weeks. Yeah. And now, Arne, you're stuck with me for two weeks. Yeah. How's that going to go? Well, luckily, we don't have much neighbors. and. Like, yeah, but you're stuck with me. Yeah, but if I get tired, I can get out. I can go in. You're not allowed to go out. I can go in the garden. You're, there's no garden. In the snow. Yeah. Snow is okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, but you can, you can, you're not supposed to get in contact with people in mm. case you got the the coronavirus, the, yeah, the corona. And 
I, I'm going to check the post box. Yeah, we'll have to go out and get our post. We're going to go to the garage and uh, have a look at our Beetle because uh, we'll just go and look at our Beetle and uh, the Volkswagen and then we'll just dream of what could have, could have been in another life uh, where there was oh no corona. Oh my God, this will be boring. Yeah. yeah. What else well, are we going to do? Maybe not, maybe it's like, like a normal day yeah. at home. I'm going to do a, a yeah, I'm going to try doing a little workout routine in the mornings to, uh, to keep me uh, moving. I'll tell you more about that. In well, one no, of our next podcasts. I will pull out my video, my camera and film you when you do your work. No, you're not. You can do a tutorial. N -n -n -n, no. Like, that is, uh, n not even you are allowed in the room when I do my uh, <laughs> my uh, <laughs> exercises. Wow. That's not going to happen. What else? Oh, yeah, we're going to be cooking. Uh, but we don't know what we're going to be cooking because uh, we don't know what kind of food we can get in the, in the supermarkets. Last we heard, the supermarkets were pretty ribbed when it came to... <laughs> To food, there was nothing because uh, everybody's paper. been going cray cray and uh, buying out everything. Norway has said, "Do not do that. Do not buy everything because we have a lot of food here in this country." So hopefully, we'll get better. Uh, our uh, we have friends, uh, Audrios and Austra. They are going to be taking care of us uh, because they have from a traveling. distance while so we they are will put it on the front porch. Yeah, and, and we get yeah. And Freya is currently with them because we've heard, we don't know if this is true, but we've heard about that dog. Well, actually, it is true. We heard about a Pomeranian well, in Hong Kong. one dog out of hundreds, millions of Yeah, dogs. but if, if we have the coronavirus, I don't want to give it to Freya. I mean, come on. Maybe. I don't no. Know. We'll see. So Freya is going to probably not come for a while, which means that the house is going to be full of, well, the outdoors is going to be full of booze. Who's going to scare the moose away while Freya... Oh, yeah. I, I thought you said moose. No, moose. 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 I don't know. Yeah. And then Maybe you can get a picture then. Yeah, we'll see. And then, of course, there's the whole thing, you know, uh, how are we going to put up with each other for two weeks? I think it's going to go well. We do travel a lot, Arne and I, together. We're always together. So I think that in the aspect of having company, it's, I'm pretty happy that Arne is my companion. So... Uh, I think we'll do okay uh, for these weeks. Yeah. Although, although I know that I'm a very social person and I like hanging around other people and other people in Arnold too. I like you the most, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have other friends. Yeah. Uh, we'll do FaceTime with them, I guess. We can do FaceTime with our friends. The 14 days go, go quite quick. I yeah. hope. Yeah, I we can it... binge watch something on Netflix. Yeah. But then, of course, we were thinking a lot about this whole situation we're in because suddenly it goes from it goes from being on a boat and being a bubble, right? And then from one moment to the other, you're in it like that. And we're put in quarantine. Uh, two healthy guys. I mean, we're pretty healthy. We were almost never sick. We've got two healthy guys who are almost never sick who are not in a high risk group, and. Already on the boat, when we knew that this was going to be our fate for a while, we started talking about it. And we started talking about all these people that are all over the world who are in a high-risk group. And that is when you kind of start understanding. I mean, when you put in the situation, and we can laugh about it and, and joke about you know being stuck here with each other for, for two weeks. But a lot of people out there are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people there are high-risk patients. Uh, that would not survive and unfortunately some people will not survive this this epidemic so we can't like we can if we have some diseases we can't go and be in contact no. with people because then it's kind of us who gave it to yeah. the people so you better be at home for a while yeah. just to be sure that you're not sick and then we were thinking oh my god all these poor people who are gonna have to be at home either because they contracted the virus either because they are like us you know hanging around somebody who contracted it or be, been in a country where you shouldn't have gone mm -hmm. uh, and they've got all the high-risk people uh, and then everybody else I mean in Norway all the kids are now home nobody's going to school and you have to take care of your little kids because uh, you can't leave them running around the house like crazy because uh, that's no good so suddenly we're in a situation where a lot of people are on, on, on quarantine. A lot of people are in it with us. So that's the idea. Let's do these podcasts every day. Let's, um, let's see how it goes. We've never done this before. Uh, we've always done our weekly video tutorial on a, uh, on a Sunday, which we've posted regularly. And now we feel we have the need to share more with you. We have the need to tell you that 
you're not alone, you're isolated, but you're not alone. We're here with you. Uh, we're definitely here with you, and you're not <laughs> no, alone. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere, <laughs> and neither are you. So why don't we use all this wonderful technology and try to connect and spend some time together now uh, in the weeks to come? Then we were thinking, like, we have so many UFOs. Maybe we should spend the time finishing UFOs. Yeah. But instead, we were thinking we should use some of the yarn we have lying around. And do a knit-along. And do a knit-along. A mystery knit-along. A small knit-along. Now, it can be big. Now, usually when we do our videos, and uh, we've been doing them for five years now, we spend a lot of time researching, planning. Every single tutorial has been planned to, to the last detail. Uh, and this time, I mean, think about it. We came back from the boat just a couple of days ago, and now we're in quarantine. We haven't had much time to plan this, uh, and we're just jumping right in it. We don't know if this is going to be a failure. We don't know if it's going to be a success. We have no idea. It's all unplanned. Uh, we don't know what we're going to keep you entertained with on our daily podcast. And I have to be honest, Arne, uh, do we know what the uh, project, the mystery project is going to look like? Kind of, sort of, maybe? Kind of, sort kind of, of, maybe. Or we we'll see what happens. Yeah. But anyway, like you can get rid of a lot of leftover yarns. Yeah. And that's a good thing because... Sometimes we need to clean. Yeah, we do. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that the, maybe the, the main thing here is not the end result, but the fact that we can connect with people and we can do something together uh, and enjoy some time uh, together. Even if we are separated, we're still <laughs> together, right? Uh, so I think that in the end of the day, if the project is awful, people mm, hopefully won't care. But we're going to try to make it a, a nice project. Yeah. We're going to try to use our talents to, uh, to do this uh, well. We want to inspire you. Uh, so we're going to be doing uh, both the mystery project, but we will also be talking about other things around that. Tomorrow, I think we're going to be talking a little bit about stash and uh, maybe a little bit about how we put colors together. Uh, try to get you to go into your stash and have a look at what you have. And then the day after tomorrow, Carlos will do his workout. Yeah, so you'll get my workout routine <laughs> no. the day after. <laughs> but today we're going to, you know, today is the first day and uh, we're going to tell a little bit about how this is going to, you know, how we're going to do this uh, in a long. Yeah. But before that, Arna, let's talk about uh, the projects that we uh, have been working on. Yeah, because we had some work on the boat mm -hmm. and... We are working, or actually I am, because you couldn't talk and knit yeah. at the same time. So well, I we, could knit, but not this project. No, we're doing socks for our fall costume. They have cable. Cable and... What do you call this? Yeah, these are little... This little diamonds. Yeah, they're, they're, there's like a relief pattern there. And the needle is a two millimeter, so that was hard for this one yeah the, the yarn talk is and knit at the same time is not your forte and the yarn is two ply so it's very thin uh it's really thin uh, the stockings are gorgeous and we'll explain to you uh, what we use to show them the whole thing that's number one yeah so Arne knitted a pair of these uh, stockings they go way back past the knee i started my ribbing i, I, I kind of did up to around there let me see if I can, because we're not with Eric, so, <laughs> it's like so I kind of did, uh, maybe I started here, and then I went to somewhere, somewhere here, there, and then you gave up? Well, that's because I kept looking at my, everything that I did wrong, I had problems with my tension, I had problems with the, with the stitches were very uneven, and I realized that, yeah, I'm a guy, I can't multitask, it's just impossible, I can't, so I ended up doing a very easy hat instead, uh, with a group, uh, because this Ladies and gentlemen. Because you didn't finish. No, I didn't, but that's because of the virus. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why is that this is not a new beginner's project. That's for sure. And there's two socks ready. Yeah. So we have to tell everybody what we're going to use these socks for. This is for our folk costumes that we're making. So we are making one each. Yes, we are. We are going to do uh, folk costumes. Uh, and uh, we actually have decided to work on the full costume from the beginning to end. We're going to be sewing them uh, together. Yeah. Uh, Arne will do his, I will do mine, except apparently there is a 
Well, a you, third, can do, you can do the last one. Yeah, so there's a third of the sock Arne did for me, except the rib. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to finish this. And I guess maybe some people will be surprised and they say, oh, that's around knitting or mm -hmm. something. But this is actually from the fourth coast to this yeah. cable. We have this kind of uh, knitting in, uh, in Norwegian culture yeah. too. And then I brought a lot of yarns from the Knit and Mix collection that Chuck and Meyer has yeah. because I wanted to clean up the studio and I started on it's a very cool project the colors are beautiful this one so this is supposed to be a sweater oops this is the body and the mm -hmm. pattern is like just a repeat on the pattern and the colors are and the yarns are random and this is the sleeve that's one sleeve and this is the other sleeve. Yeah. So Every... I'm working on two sleeves at the same time just to be sure that I have enough yarn. Mm. Every, everybody on the boat was loving this. What weren't they are now? Yeah, I think we should make a pattern. Yeah. Maybe we should do it with the yarn from Roven. I feel a pattern coming up. A pattern is Don't coming you? up. Don't you? Don't you feel a pattern? I if feel you, a pattern well, coming up. I know you feel, but do they? Oh. Yeah, I'm talking to I'm talking to our viewers. Don't <laughs> you don't you feel a pattern coming up? I'm sure that you do, uh, and we'd love to hear from you uh, throughout our weekly podcast. You know, tell us about the pattern. Do you want it? Uh, but we can't I'm, promise you if we do the pattern. We can't promise exactly this yarn because we don't know if they have it anymore. But we can find similar colors and we can make it look that similar. Yeah. So let us know if you want this pattern. And as I said, we want to hear from you. Other things that we'd like to know is what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing to stay sane during this uh, crisis and during your quarantine? As we said, uh, we're going to do UFOs. We're going to finish some leftover projects. We're going to do the knit along with you. We have to design it and actually test knit everything before we do the episode. So we've got a lot of things doing you know to do there i'm gonna be cooking um and who knows i might even have to uh experiment with cooking depending on what austria and Adrios can find for us while they go shopping for us as long as they don't have to be in quarantine then, yeah, we have a then problem. we're in trouble yeah. but we heard that our yarn shops who actually deliver oh yeah so that's maybe true food, the grocery stores also deliver yeah so maybe in worst case we call the grocery store that's a good idea and because the yarn stores deliver uh, that means that everybody can still support their local businesses. Remember that in this time, it, it, you know, in a time like this, uh, a lot of uh, businesses will go down mm -hmm. um, and they will be bankrupt. And it's very important to do whatever you can to support them. Even if it's just like the sm smallest little thing, if you can help, please do. I'm thinking also about, you know, all the, all the, the people that organize cultural um cultural happenings mm. right i mean you've got in norway we have traditions with these little culture houses there are in each little town there's like little auditoriums and they do little concerts and they do they do loads of things like that i'm sure this is uh, something that you have all over the world and suddenly you know you pay so you paid 40 dollars for a ticket to mm. go to a concert and the concert scans is cancelled if you can afford to lose the 40 dollars uh, maybe that would be a good deed to do. Just lose the money instead of uh, instead of asking it back, because there's a lot of people now that are gonna suffer, uh, and our heart goes out to them. I mean, we have a we have a business ourselves, and we understand uh, the difficulty that we're all as small business owners yeah, going to be in. Have to cancel a lot of things yeah. right now or postpone them, and that is not easy. No, it's not easy. And I heard on the radio this morning. The local radio, one of the local radios in the north, in the Trøndelag, mm -hmm. in the middle of Norway, they were only playing Norwegian music. Oh, that's great to, to support, support our artists. Norwegian artists. So remember, yeah, you, you got a booking. You you know you you booked a concert. Oh, say you say you were gonna go to Vogue Knitting in Seattle, and that got cancelled because it has. Say it got cancelled, and you you paid your you prepaid your entrance ticket. Say it cost say it cost thirty dollars. Uh, if you don't need those thirty dollars uh, back, maybe just let them have them. Uh, they would probably go to to help them reduce their losses a little bit. I don't know. I just feel that in I these times, like people are gonna struggle, and we're all gonna lose money. So uh, if you can help, please help as much as you can. I'm not saying help us. I'm saying <laughs> help your local businesses buy yarn, 
don't forget them. Order your yarn. They're going to be out doing their deliveries because I know a lot of the yarn stores are going to have uh, to do that. And uh, if you can support them, please do. It's very, very important in the time in a time like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, You're so wise. I I don't know if I'm wise. <laughs> I just uh, I just know that it's going to be tough for a lot of people, and I know that yeah, there's I mean, a lot of nice people out there that want to help uh, little businesses like your store so i'm sure that uh, and i know that in times like this people are really good at coming together and helping each other out so i'm sure that it's going to be uh, some, it's something i say that people already thought of yeah of course we're not going to ask for our 40 dollar ticket back of course we're going to be understanding that they had to cancel because of corona and i think that the more people that get into that mindset, uh, it'll release some of the stress. Because, you know, really, in the end of the day, right now, all you can do is go with the flow. Just go with the flow, and uh, things are the way they are, aren't they? So, <laughs> are we ready to talk a little bit about uh, the knit along? Yes, we are. Okay. So, we're gonna give you a little pattern every day. Yeah. We are gonna... <laughs> As you can as you can tell, we haven't thought it through a hundred percent. But we will a new pattern every day, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, and it's going to be a knit along, so it's going to be knitting. Uh, we were thinking of doing crochet along, but you know, crochet along, knit along. We had some ideas for a knit along that we could whip up very quickly. Uh, crochet alongs can take a little bit longer to develop a, a design. Actually, those florals uh, are very, very, very uh, intricate and do tend to take a lot of time. So it's easier to do a knit along, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Um, and um, we're gonna be doing it with DK yarn. So uh, now you need to go into your stash and you need to look for DK yarn. Uh, and uh, if you can pull out your work in progress again, Arna, the sweater. If you look at this sweater, try to put it close to the camera. Eric is not here, so we have to do that. Is that? That is close to yeah. the camera. If you see, if you, if you see the sleeve, this is all DK yarn. And if you go again, go again, go again. You can see, yeah, look at the green one here and the blue here, yeah. You see they're completely different yarns. And look at the nice effect that you get. So <laughs> this is a great thing for our knit along. So you're going to go into your stash and you're going to look for DK yarn that is approximately 20, 20 stitches, 22 stitches per, per 10 centimeters, 4 inches. 22 stitches to 4 inches, 22 stitches to 10 so those, who, those of you who doesn't know what, what you call that, DK yarn is, we use needle for... Yeah, okay, I, I'm, I was going to get to the needle as well. Anyway, you're going to look for DK yarn, uh, which has uh, a gauge of 22 stitches per 10 centimeters or 4 inches. And you're going to look for texture. Doesn't matter what kind of yarns you have, they all go together. You can choose if you have if you're lucky and you bought uh, sixty skeins of uh, merino extra fine DK that you've never that you just put in the back of your stash and forgot all about it in twelve colors, and you suddenly find it there. Hey, that's your chance to use it up for this. If you don't have that, but you have different DK weights, yeah, or take them qualities and use them. Matter. Yeah, it could be a boucle one. It could be a, a fuzzy mohairy one. Like this one. Yeah, like that. It could be like a, a, a slim or a, not a slim, a smooth wool or a cotton. Any DK yarn, go to your stash and grab. Color-wise, Arne, what do we think about that? Any color. And how what should... you have in your stash. But we will make some suggestions based on what we're doing, but we don't think that you might not have those colors. No. So use colors that you can actually see the difference of the two colors. Mm. Don't use two co colors that are too close to each other because then you can't see the pattern. Yeah, that's so true. Use some colors that pops a little bit. Have you ever have we ever shared our color philosophy, the one about all the yarn in the basket? I think we no, have. Oh yeah, and you said we should talk about that tomorrow. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not saying it. Okay, so we'll 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 save that for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll talk about yarn in your stash. Uh, and, and yeah, so anyway, DK weight, which would be appropriate to use your needle number four uh, millimeter. And now a four millimeter, what's that in a US size? It's a six, a US size six. Mm -hmm. I know oh, this. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, because you know that. 
Well, <laughs> I know this because we <laughs> screwed it up. We were passing out we were passing out handouts for our mystery knit along on the boat uh, last week. And uh, we got the needle four millimeter all wrong in American size. So somebody was very quick to point that out to me, that it was wrong. And I think I'll never forget anymore <laughs> that a four millimeter size needle in Europe is a six millimeter. No, it's a size six in the U.S. because they don't have millimeters in the U.S. So that's the needle you're going to need. You're going to need two needles. We're not working on the round here. No, and it doesn't matter if you have 22 stitches or whatever, how many you have on 10 centimeters because you're probably not going to wear it. Or maybe you Oh, are. you're talking about the gauge? Yeah. Yeah, but I still think that when people are going to look for their yarn in the stash, they should know what kind of yarn they're looking for. More than likely, they will have the wrap on. And more than likely, they will be able to look and see, oh, if they know that this is a DK weight, they'll be able to take it. If they don't know if it's a DK weight, then by reading the gauge, you will find out. But, but yeah, you're right, you're right, Arne, that yeah. once we start knitting this, it doesn't really matter, no. does it? And if you have a lot of thicker yarn in your stash, use that. Just a thicker needle. Hmm. This yeah. is like, this is a free, it's so free. Yeah. The project is so free. Isn't that good? That's going to no, be great. No rules no rules whatsoever no, just knit it now See what happens now i'm going to give you some more information that you need to have um we're going to be posting or we're going to be showing a pattern don't show we'll be showing a, a, a design every day and once we show the design once we reveal the design we're going to be posting a uh, pattern for that on our blog uh, there's going to be a pattern and a chart and so you need to go to arnacarlos.com slash blog. So arnacarlos.com slash blog, or just go to arnacarlos.com and select blog from the menu. Once you're in, in the blog, we're going to pin this knit along as the top of the blog so that you can go straight to it. Now, every day we were going to be adding a new, a new clue. So this means that the blog post will be growing. Every day, the same post will get more and more uh, information on it until we eventually reach the solution of the mystery. Or the solutions. Or the solutions, because yeah, we don't know what way we're going. So remember, go to arnacarlos.com and blog. Now, does this cost money? Of course not. We are here... And we're all in this together. So what we want from you is engagement. We want you guys to, to feel like you're not alone. Uh, we, you know, we're in the same boat right now. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whether you're a high-risk group, whether you have the virus or had the virus, whether you were abroad when you shouldn't have been abroad, we're in this together. So what we want is for a sense of community. We want to help you. And we want to inspire you. And we need you to help us and inspire us and help us keep our minds clear and not go insane during this awful crisis. Uh, and the size of the project will be... To be discussed later. Discussed. It depends on how many days we have to be in quarantine. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, <laughs> it's absolutely free. You don't need to pay us anything. Uh, you All you need to do is just jump in on this and do this together with us. So remember... The patterns will be updated, or the pattern will be updated daily on the blog as we reveal a new clue. Now, that's the second thing. Uh, then we want to hear from you, or we want to see what you're doing. And the way we're going to do this is we are going to uh, encourage you to comment. So comment on our, on our YouTube channel. Comment under these videos. Tell us about your day. Tell us how you've been doing. Tell us about the things that you're doing to stay sane. Keep us updated on your, on your project, on your knit along that we're doing together. You can do that on our blog, at the comments field of our blog. You can do this on our uh, YouTube, just on the, oops, you see? Oh, there, comment field below. I really miss Eric right now. <laughs> yeah, and look at our eyes. It's Eric! Like, it's, it's really hard. Yeah. Like, where are you? I don't know where you Eric, goes. we miss you. Yeah, miss you. Hope to see you soon. We really need help with this. Maybe he's in quarantine. 
uh, I think he is actually. Anyway, yeah. So, so you, you, we want you to comment here on YouTube. We want you to comment on our blog. Uh, we'll be posting a picture of the finished uh, clue uh, that is going to be post posted on Facebook at Arne Carlos on Facebook. It's going to be posted on Instagram, and it's going to be posted on the blog together with the pattern. So you can also comment there. Uh, we've also done something new, uh, something we've never done before. We're not big Facebook people, although we do have Facebook. Uh, we have created a group. Uh, and that is called? Yeah, that is called, that is a good question. Uh, uh, what what did we call what it? Are you calling Quarantine it? Knitting with Arne and Carlos. <laughs> There we go. So we want you to go to Quarantine Knitting with Arne and Carlos on Facebook. And we want you to join that group. Because once you join the Quarantine Knitting with Arne and Carlos group, you can start posting your progress. We will be posting our progress every day. We'll be, you know, trying to update you as much as we can. And we want you to do the same. Post your progress. We really want to see it. And we can promise you one thing. We've got two weeks, we've got nothing to do, so we're going to be active. We're going to go into the blog and look at comments there. We're going to go into to Facebook and look at comments there. We'll be in YouTube looking at comments, and we'll definitely go to the group to see all your progress. And again, since the Facebook group is called Quarantine Knitting with Arna and Carlos, if you're on Instagram, which is the medium that we like the most, uh, uh, we would love it if you post your progress there. And to post it there, all you need to do is hashtag quarantine knitting. Now, I had a look today. There's already a couple of posts on quarantine knitting, uh, but I think that we could actually borrow that post for a while. Hashtag quarantine knitting uh, will be the tag so that we can see all your stuff on Instagram. Yeah. So I think that this kind of uh, sums up what we plan on doing. Um, we are also going to talk a little bit about each clue and give you some uh, tips and some pointers on what sh you should do and you shouldn't do. So before we reveal the main or today's clue, which is the very first one, let's talk a little bit about the project in general. And I think you, you brought down a few things that were like ideas that we had. Uh, and maybe we should show those before we, uh, we reveal today's clue and talk a little bit about them. Oh, yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. But not this is what is it? <laughs> well, but nobody knows because you're not holding it up. Okay. Let's see. So this is like one piece. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, there you go. One pattern, but this is made with double knitting. So if you want, you can do the clue in double knitting, or you can do it as single. Single, and this yeah. is a thinner yarn. And then you can do it with a bigger yarn. This is another pattern, but then it gets bigger let's and see. also double knitted. But you don't have to do double. Yeah, let's see. Put, put them together. Just put them together and see the size. So, yeah. Yeah. You see. Put that on top. Put that on top. Yeah. So, basically, this is the thing. We were discussing this morning, should it be double knitting? And we came to the conclusion that, no, it, we are not going to be doing it double ourselves because we want to lower the, the skill level to have as many people as possible join. If we do double knitting... We've already excluded a lot of people, and this is not what we want to do this time. We want to include. So, we will be knitting all our patches, and they're all going to be squares, and we're going to be knitting all of them single. They're not going to be double knitted. Like swatches. Like swatches, correct. So, it's going to be easy for most of you to follow. I think even for new beginners in color work, you should be okay. So... No double knitting for Arne and me this time. So these, we're going to say bye-bye to them. Maybe for another time or maybe, for a longer Maybe quarantine. for another time. Yeah, well, for when we're in quarantine for a month, we'll, we'll do double knitting. So bye-bye double knitting. However, if you hate, you know, those patches where the, where the, uh, where the strands are carried on the back uh, and you cannot handle the idea of doing it in, in single knitting, go ahead. Do double knitting if you want, but because that's why I. Yeah, but that's not what we're doing that's now, not is it? Working. Our patches are going to be looking like this on the back, and they're going to be looking like so this on the front. Not all. This is the first one. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, there is no double knitting in here. 
This is all just a single piece. And this is how we're going to be doing it in order to include as many of you as possible. Yeah. So we will put the pattern on the Instagram and the blog and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, the pattern is only going on the blog. It's on the blog. Mm -hmm. And then there's one tip. Tips. Okay. Firstly, let's just show them, everybody, the uh, design. So this is the up upside down. So this one is, it's first it, yeah, flower. it's a flower. And uh, what we can say about this flower is this, our garden is covered in snow. So we have no flowers. A lot of people said that maybe we could do gardening while we are in quarantine. However, uh, the timing is not right. <laughs> no. So we won't see the garden for another two months, which is the flower we miss the most. The Meconopsis. The Meconopsis, the, the blue, blue puppy. So it. this flower here, in this knitting uh, patch is inspired by the Meconopsis. Now, the big question is, if you guys don't have this blue yarn in your stash, uh, and then you go crazy, because then you don't have the Meconopsis, don't worry. If you have pink yarn, it could be a poppy, yeah. right? Or it can be anything, just use what you If have. you have red yarn, it could be a rose. Yeah. If you have yellow yarn, it could be a yellow flower. So it is whatever you want it to be. This is the beauty of this project, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Should I do the tips? Yeah, so what are the tips, Arne? There's one one tips, tips or tip? Mm -hmm. Tips. Yeah. One tip. When when I do when I do color work on this one, when I like I, I bring the white all the way over and then I knit the two last stitches. The two last stitches is knitted in what? With both yarns. Mm -hmm. And then when I knit back. I knit the first stitch, but the first stitch is then knitted with one yarn, yeah. and always the the basic col the base color. Mm. And then on the other side again, I knit with two yarns, yeah. well, because then it's easier to bring the the white in this case from the beginning and over where you need it. Yeah, it's easier to get a nice tension instead of wrapping the yarn okay. around. So that's that's something you, you could try and see if you like it and will our viewers be able to read this in the pattern yes you're gonna write I, it I can down. write yeah. it down That's you're gonna job. write it down so you want to achieve an edge oh geez okay here we go god this is so difficult because it's it, i think it's mirrored oh i don't know how to do oh okay what, 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 uh, there we go so oh finally here we are so this is what you want to achieve on that edge and this is what arne was talking about and that also on that edge. Because it's easier. I, I find it easier. Okay. If, you, if you don't like it, don't do it. But I like it. So that's a great tip. Are there any other tips for today? Uh, and carry the yarn. Carry the yarn. Where the long flows are. Yeah. And we so. have videos for that. If you don't know what we talk about. Oh, sorry. If you want to see the floats, <laughs> they look like this. This is very bad filming. I know. Eric, <laughs> we miss you. Come back soon. Yeah. Okay. Actually, don't come back. Until we're out of quarantine, please. <laughs> okay. So that's today's uh, clue. Uh, and uh, just go and cast on. Uh, go to our blog at arnacarlos.com. Um, download the chart. Download the pattern. Go to your stash. Pick up your needles. Cast on. And we will see you again same time tomorrow uh, when we'll go through the second clue. And As hopefully you have one. Obviously. Hopefully you'll have your first, uh, your first uh, you square. Uh, we want to hear from you. Remember, comment, post, go to our Facebook group, post your, your square. Tell us about the colors you chose, why you chose those colors. Maybe it was the only two colors you had in your stash. Who knows? <laughs> we want to hear from you. Tell us everything. And we really look forward to uh, interacting with you again tomorrow. Now we're going to close down the, the channel for this uh, evening as we go and prepare the second clue and and we start as we also start writing the second pattern and remember on sundays you get a totally different video oh yeah that's true because we're not doing this on sunday because then you have the pre -film yeah movies let's do the formalities we forgot to do the formalities to start with because this is a completely different seri series and it's a little bit you know yeah, it's, we have what we have of camera equipment. But yeah, the, the formalities would be the same. Uh, if you like this episode, 
Uh, we'd really love it if you gave it a big thumbs up, right? Uh, and if you turn on your notification, Arne, what happens then? Then you get like this message and it says like there's a new video out. Yeah. And you'll never miss an episode. No, and you'll never miss an episode. Right now, we are going to be posting every single day from Monday to Friday at 6 p.m. Central European time. Uh, Saturday is going to be our day off. Saturday, we're going to spend uh, working on, uh, on you know, continuation of this uh, mystery. Do we have a day off? Sorry, not Sunday, Saturday. Not Saturday, Sunday. No. no. What I mean, is, what I mean, okay, let's do it again. We're going to post <laughs> every weekday from 6 p.m. At, no, sorry, we're going to post every weekday at 6 p.m. Central European time. Uh, Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. Saturday is going to be a day off. We're not going to work on any video stuff. No. That's the day we're going to spend doing our little uh, continuation of the mystery. Yeah, I didn't know middle that. Yeah, no, but now you know. <laughs> and then Sunday, <laughs> Sunday is also our day off. But the reason why Sunday is our day off is because we were very diligent and we pre-recorded so many episodes in January. That I knew. Yeah, that we keep showing you the original or the regular tutorials. And those tutorials are 100% Corona free because there was no Corona uh, in Norway, at least, uh, when we recorded them. So that means that uh, you're going to be seeing our faces Monday through Friday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Central European time. Now, there may be a little bit of confusion with this right now because usually 6 p.m. Central European time is 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, but uh, there has been a uh, movement of the clock forward uh, in the USA for summertime, so it's already Central Daylight Time, but in Europe we're still in Central European Time. It means that uh, Chicago, for example, which is on the uh, Central uh, Time Zone, is six hours behind us. So 6 p.m. is now 12 in, in uh, Central America, North America. It is, yes. And uh, in Eastern time, it's uh, five hours mm -hmm. instead of six. So anyway, it's only going to be like this until the end of March, and then we'll all be back in, in the same routine as, as before. So, uh, Arne, we have mm -hmm. been uh, talking and uh, telling people what we're going to be doing. Um, do you have a good feeling about this? Yeah, uh, let's see what happens. You never know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, at least we have something to do. We have something to do while we are on quarantine. Yeah. We were supposed to be on our way to Australia now. Actually, we were supposed to go to the H and H in Cologne first, and then Australia. So uh, we work in a way that we do a lot of the design work, uh, taking consideration of our travel. So right now we are kind of, sort of unemployed in a way. We're not unemployed now because we're doing this mystery thing. But uh, if we wouldn't have this, we might go very crazy in it, alone in our oh. house. Oh, yes. So uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired, are you? Yeah, well... Like, it was hard coming home. The, few, the last days have been very dramatic, and now we are here, quarantined in our house. So yeah, it is, it is uh, what it is, and we all have to make uh, the best out of the situation. So I am very excited to continue this uh, podcast um, together with Arne and together with all of you and we hope somebody is watching and uh, we look forward to tomorrow so uh, and we're not sick we're just tired and we had a ha bad hair day and we are not going to the hairdresser for a while no the hairdresser got cancelled too canceled. he's also in quarantine I mean everybody's in quarantine in so, Norway right now so anyway they will see the real thing what? <laughs> they will see the real thing how bad it can get when we are at home yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be decaying <laughs> from day to day. No, actually, I plan on shaving. I plan oh, on yeah. acting. Yeah, but yesterday we traveled, so I'm going to, you know, take it easy today. But from tomorrow, I'm trying to be like if I was not on quarantine somehow. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and we look forward to bringing you a new clue tomorrow. And we hope that you have enjoyed this uh, this episode. Uh, and also, finally, there's uh, patterns on our website at arnacarlos.com if you want to knit something else. If you're a crocheter and are very unhappy because we don't do a crochet along now, we may consider doing one in the future. So uh, in the meantime, there's some crochet patterns in our website. And remember that the best way to stay in, in touch with us is 
if you go to our website and sign up for our updates at rnacarlos.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.